Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Train Man, and welcome to the weekly timetable for the week of December 7th, 2014. We are coming towards the end of yet another year of this this whole dealio, so that's that. I'm glad you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this year of videos, and here's to another one in the future. Anyways, we'll have more time to talk before the new year hits, but um, maybe we should come up with some resolutions. Not sure what they are yet, though. Anyways, one resolution is to keep outputting videos at the current pace. For example, on Monday we had Simulation Protocol Overload Episode 8, Bridge Building. Correct? Not correct? Bridge... I, it's not showing me the other half of the title, so I'm going to have to go with Bridge Building. Anyways, in this episode, John and I are working together as a pair to conquer this area with Weibold and Chris loosely working together as a pair to conquer the area as well. Our paths cross once or twice, mainly us crossing their path, something that Chris built but didn't finish, involving a bridge between a pair of towers. After I finished that, John and I proceeded forward into an area where we could see something that looked particularly inviting, but we were deterred from it, as you'll see in the clip. Make some food. carrots, make some wood, make some torches. If you can, if you can figure out, I haven't explained to anyone how to use my damn grinder sort of thing. What type yep. of I'm just gonna make ultimate. Oh, armor! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get some, get some tools, food, and armor made, or armor farm. We don't have any armor. No. Yeah, but you farm. can, you can go to the armor area. I don't know. I haven't. Oh, seen yeah, it's the thing, the thing. Retreat. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. Anyways, on. Oh, that's right. Because of some. That's right. Hold on. Take a step back here. This is the first terminus after two weeks of not doing anything. Now, um, we didn't have a, uh, I think, right? Whoops, I skipped the wrong way. Um, I'm just going to start from more recent stuff. Anyways, previous week's videos went just fine. Uh, simulation Protocol Overload Episode 8, so then we're on to, on Tuesday we had Trim and Place Crusader's Locomotion Episode 100, and why can't I ever see these? Episode 158, under the title of Steamtown. The reason is we made Steamtown in locomotion as a little place to keep our retirees, the, the engines and rolling stock that we put away and don't need. And in fact, we add to that uh, in, I believe, next episode. We add a couple of more things to it, and I'm working on adding even more. Anyways, um, yeah, that's, that's about it. All, all the interesting stuff is covered. Um, Steamtown was kind of the highlight of it. We got this. We got our uh, one engine that we have retired, which is that Prairie locomotive that we go for at the beginning, the one with the higher horsepower. Um, out there, it's kind of wedged in an area between the steel mill and the town, so it looks like something could have been there in the past. Ideally, I would have used a yard that we already had and had abandoned, but I didn't have one of those until next episode, which you guys will see. Hey, and it fits perfectly. Oh, it didn't spin around, though. Damn it. Um... How am I get it? How am I gonna get it to do that? Oh, never mind. It's gonna... Okay, this is perfect, actually. On Wednesday, we had War Thunder episode whatever, episode 36, Length Disparity, and no, this isn't, a, this isn't a suggestive title whatsoever. What I'm trying to say is that we had a very short battle, and then we had a very long battle, and we had a couple of, uh, we had an interlude with Weibold showing up at random, scabbing us from school, but um, the long battle was uh, working with the British again, and those are always, it's always fun to fly those British planes. Uh, it's kind of a nice change from the Americans, uh, although the Russians is a really nice change from the Americans because of all the guns. Anyways, uh, which is the other one, by the way. Anyways, we fly around our Wellington, we drop our 4,000 pounds of destruction once or twice. Fantastic. Oh, no. Bomb Thank away. You. The bomb is away. <laughs> Mitchell away dot ABI. Oh my god, that's such a great... 
You need no. to upload that. No. Oh god. Yeah. Just what I do in Kerbal Space <laughs> Program. <laughs> Economic boom. What I do in Kerbal Space Program when I'm not recording. <laughs> boom. Blow, oh, god. blow up all of the things. <laughs> Oh, remember I was trying to build the scatter bomb the other day or whatever? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I want oh god, my plane! On Thursday, we had the Zombie Train episode 100, The Centennial. Now, called The Centennial, of course, because it's the 100th episode having nothing to do with the locomotive. The Centennial also came with a brand new intro, which is probably shorter than I would have liked it to be, but it was kept down to size for sanity's sake. Of course, there'll be a longer, drawn-out version if we ever go for the pass. But, um, that's that. I tried to put in a little, uh, interlude at the end there. Anyways, we worked on some mountain... Mountain, uh... Well, we did terraining, and we did, uh, texturing, and we did some, some scenery placement as well. So, that's that. That's basically all we have to work on right now, and by next episode, we won't have any, uh... We won't have any uh, terraining to do anyways, so we just move on to pretty much full-time scenicing not without terraining. Scenicing without terraining. The grass there instead of the stone, or instead of this weird yellowish rock, which apparently has become a staple of our construction. Now I'm going ahead and putting the uh, artificial gullies, of course they aren't, uh, made out to be actual gullies in the terrain of the mountain really, but it's just something to mix up the uh, color scheme. On Friday, we had Train Men's Fever Episode 15, The High Speed Branch. Now, that's kind of a misnomer, or it's a, kind of an oxymoron, rather. But in this case, it is absolutely true. We built this branch line to be um, capable of speeds up to 120 miles per hour on the standard track. We're using locomotives that run 100 miles an hour standard. Uh, of course, you know, there's no upgrades to locomotives, but... Um, and it's quickly becomes quite profitable, as you guys will see in the next episode. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's very good. Very good indeed. And worry about the Frostem Congleton thing with another one of its own trains. And actually, I think that's the best idea we've had all day. I've just got to get rid of these houses. That was an expensive one. That should be more, room, more than enough room. We only spent a couple million on that, right? On Saturday, we had Space Engineers Episode 19, The Maiden Voyage. Now, The Maiden Voyage was kind of spurred on a little bit dangerously. The entire south end of the station vaporized, and we're still in the process of putting the ship together as it's uh, just kind of sitting in a crater out of sight. Uh, out of sight of the astro out of the meteorites, I mean, so that we don't get it damaged. It has brand new shiny paint on it and everything, and it's got four Gatling turrets, and one of these days we're going to take it out to shoot something. Why is the grinder ship hanging out over here? Because I was flying it back and forth. Oh. That's why. My, what else do I need? Construction components, motors, bulletproof glass. And I still can't put this tube right here. I don't know why I can't put this tube right here. Oh, this is going to be a long process. I can only carry seven of these. And oh, I see why I can't put this tube right here. Why? Because there was a thing sitting on the ground. Anyways, we have two videos of the week, and uh, one of them is in Chinese, so I really don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, if you want to see some explosion, both of these are both of these videos are very destructive. I'll point that out right now. Um, this other one, though, isn't... Um, isn't quite as spontaneous as I thought it was going to be, because they have a giant, giant pile of firecrackers. Like, more firecrackers than you'd ever need, ever. And they light off one end, and it just becomes this, okay, no, this should be the video of the week. The reason it should be the video of the week is because it has a fire NATO in it. All these firecrackers going off create a spiral tornado of fire, and it's really cool, and it's really epic, and something you wouldn't want to be near, or much less in. <coughs> It'd be a hell of a way to go, though. Um, 
But speaking of ways to go, this woman crashes her SUV, I believe it was a woman, crashes her SUV into a brick building. And no, that's not just anti-woman bias. It's, I'm pretty sure, just what happens. Um, but at any rate, somebody crashed into a brick building uh, in this on this SUV, in an SUV, and the building collapsed onto their car. And that's kind of epic. Uh, I mean, it's really bad, but unfortunately the building was pretty much empty. The person, the driver survived. They, it was a getaway car anyways. They'd stolen the car, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm so good at... This was a, a... Yeah, during a police chase. Um, the driver fusing fell off. Hitting a fire hydrant. Building was partially collapsed. Driver was injured. Yeah. Pretty amazing stuff. Anyways, that's the video of the week. Check it out. SUV crashes into brick building. Building collapses on SUV, so it's like fair trade, I guess. And that's all my time for this week, and I'll see you guys next week. Train Man out. Whoa. Can't turn it off. There we are. Train Man out.